Well, hi. So, once again, I have to record this live because I'm not sure if my devices are recording it. So, hope you'll bear with me as I work out the equipment. So, we're going to do the third perfume blog. Coming to you from Italy, my name is Amanda. And I'm going to share with you some of the perfumes I've been using. Terrible lockdown. We all need cheering up. I'm going to get straight to it because we don't have time to lose. We have lots to cover. So, number one, this beautiful green juice from Pasquale Morabito, French perfume. Comes in this lovely white embossed box. That's what it looks like, isn't it gorgeous? It's um, nice and fresh for spring. So I'm going to give myself a nice spritz here. Oh, gosh. I test drove this yesterday, and it's fabulous. Really affordable. All of these perfumes, I got them on a special for about 16 17 but they're quality perfumes, and they're gorgeous, the whole line. So today, instead of jumping around between roses, which is what I'm going to do next time, the War of the Roses, today I'm just going to do some spring ideas. So this is lovely. It's a chypre, which I adore. So chypre means it's cypress style, has lovely, some rose, some white flowers, but beautiful and gives you a lovely silage that surrounds you without being overpowering when you're at work or out and about. Try it. Absolutely gorgeous. Green pearl. Pearl verte. Pascal Moravita. I'll link up below um, the brand, the white, uh, the different uh, types of perfume. This is the white. This is um, Pure Pearl, Pasquale Morabito, same line. This is gorgeous. This is a completely different creature from that. This is what we call a gourmand perfume. Gourmand because it has praline notes. Uh, for me, it has toffee apple. It's a bit sweet for me. It's not my usual style. I like green verte with white flowers and something a little bit more herbal. But this is really a dream. It's like floating in a cloud of marshmallow candy gloss. If you like a bit of sweet, I think this is going to be right up your street. It's a beautiful bottle, like a white enamel bottle. You see that? Absolutely stunning. And... Um, yeah, the praline um, is a little bit of toffee, caramel, almost like cream caramel. It's gorgeous. And once the top notes are gone and the dry down comes, it's very soft and I think gorgeous. Creamy, creamy and some white flowers, tiny bit of narcissi. So beautiful tops, gorgeous, absolutely quality bottles. It's glass, no plastic. So that's that one. And... And then we come to the next one. I'm unboxing these all for you because I wanted to do them as a group. And then we have some pink juice. Also gorgeous. Same line. This one's called Perle Precise. So this pink one, because pink juice is very popular, every brand, every fashion brand has a new fragrance out that's pink, often with rose, a um, little bit of patchouli normally, something so this is utterly different. All three of these are completely different. This is a gorgeous floral for a spring day. If you just want to feel lighthearted and sexy and go to the beach on a date or go anywhere, really, shopping or to the office. Kind of matches my pink. I'm all in pink today. I don't know what the light's doing here, so please forgive me if I'm blinding you with the light because you have to have light to film. So there we are. So that's the precise. So remember, when you spray the top note, give it give it time to to come down and let the dry down happen, and then the middle notes will come out, and then the base notes, which is often amber, vanilla, and those will be the warmer notes that will stay and give the perfume staying power or silage. Uh, so it should be long lasting. So here, this is an amber colored one and this with this beautiful gold label is called Regal so this is 
another Morbita, all in the same perfume house. Let's give this one a try. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to have to go up here. I don't want to spray on top of something else. I especially kept my arms naked for you today. So yes, I'm smelling the top note, which you should, shouldn't really do. You should let the dry down happen. And if you're in a rush, you could actually just put it on a warm part of your body. The warmest part of your body, perfume-wise, is there. Also behind your ears, behind your knees, anywhere where there's a fold. So the two parts of skin join. This is rather gorgeous. Every one of these has their uniqueness. This is much more warm, I would say a little bit more um, amberish, and it has a tiny bit of patchouli, but it's, oh, this is so lovely. Every one of these is completely different. This one's very green and fresh and light. If you like Gris Cabotine, this is very similar with the white flowers. Super, super, super. This is a gourmand with his lovely caramel notes and praline. Yeah, super, super lovely, sweetie one. And then this is light and fresh and sunny, very pretty. It's a bit like Chloe, Mademoiselle. And all of these have a similarity, if you could call it that to brands that cost 120. All of these, I got them on a discount special because I was extending my line a little bit and wanted some perfumes that I could use this spring that don't break the bank and that I can change my mind and just spray them around. And they all were 15 or less. So that's a bargain. The bottles are gorgeous, quality perfume. So. This one's a little bit different. It is still Pascal Morbito, but I got it because there's a very big trend toward oud. What is oud? Oud is old-fashioned word for wood. So it's quite often a more masculine, well, it's perceived to be masculine, smoky wood nose with amber wood. So it's gorgeous. It's like a bar of gold. For those of you who love gold, you can see my uh, flowers from the garden that I just brought in. It's, they've just started for spring and these gorgeous little Narcissi, aren't they absolutely divine? They're just perfection. Smell divine, the Narcissus. Um, so Ode, Pascal Marabito again. Let's try and put it over here in a warm part again. Just give it yourself a few little spritzes. So this is very different. This is spicy. This has some tobacco notes. This is the kind of smell that comes off a man who's very elegant with a tweed jacket and a lovely scarf and has those smoky wood notes with a bit of tobacco, a bit of leather, a tiny bit of patchouli, but not much, and citrus on the top note. Really a masculine fragrance. But I sometimes wear masculine fragrances because these days there's lots of unisex. But I would say that if you wanted your man to smell absolutely delicious, I think this is a very masculine scent, this ode. So it's called Gold Edition Ode Pasquale Morabito. As I say, I'll link up Pasquale Morabito's name down the bottom. I'm not affiliated to anybody. I don't get paid to review these perfumes. I do it because I love perfume. And it's a, the cheapest way you can just brighten your life, change your life. Um, these cost less than a good bottle of wine. So, yeah, there we are. Um, so that's the line. Let me go through it again with you just to refresh. So we're going to start with the greenest, which is this one. And this is uh, a Chypre with lovely white flower. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous notes. On the back of the boxes, the boxes are stunning. This is Pearl Royale. It's a lovely embossed white. Um, they sometimes give you the notes. In this case, you can look them up. Um, but Pearl Prestige, the pink one, has the most, I would say, the most feminine. It has lovely floral. But basically, the reason I got these was because of this one. I really wanted it because... It bears many similarities to perfumes I like. My signature perfume has always been Aromatique, 
um, elixir from Clinique, a nice chipre, a green with lots of heady florals, a mixture of florals, florals and some herbal notes. So what do you think of these beautiful, which one do you like the best? The pink, the gorgeous green or this creamy white, which is very classic. And I can see somebody absolutely falling in love with this. These are all unisex. I think perhaps that one might be too feminine, but the others are unisex. And the gourmand perfume that gives you these gorgeous, gorgeous caramel, creme caramel note. And it's not so sweet because the florals come out after the top note is done. So that's what we're doing today. We've done those. And we've done the Oud, which um, is called Gold, uh, Gold Edition Pascual Morabito. That's the lid of it. I don't know how much you can see with the gold shining. So here we are. You could spend, I don't know, um, let's, let's calculate, 50 euro to get this line of perfumes that would keep you happy through winter, summer, spring. And that's maybe a way you could start out with your little collection. I have had the same five perfumes for years. I never splashed out on perfume. I don't have a hundred euro to buy Tom Ford. But I have discovered with my nose that I was gifted with that there are so many fragrances that equal or even better some of the, the high fashion lines like Tom Ford, like... Um, um, Chanel, like, I don't know, Roberto Cavalli, whoever you happen to like, Armani. A lot of the modern perfumes for me are super sweet. They all smell the same, and I want to smell a little bit different. So, and I want to sometimes change my mood. I bought some antique patchouli the other week, which is very colonial. It's like a, a colonial splash, but for summer, it's super fresh, and it's not that cloyingly sweet. Most of us don't want to overpower with our perfume. I certainly don't. So let me know in the comments what you think about this line of perfumes. And next time, which will be blog number four, we're going to do the War of the Roses. So I'm going to test some of my favorite rose perfumes from some that are reasonably cheap, like Fere Rose, and then... Um, I have Molinade, another rose, and then I have Blue Marines, Danger Rose, which I've already spoken to once about. But I have a bunch of new roses, all of which cost under 50 euro, quite often under 40, that are absolutely stunning and will make you give up going to buy, going to spend 200 euro in a perfume shop, which you don't have. If you have it and you love it, good, go ahead. But this is going to be a place where you can come and share your perfume notes. This narcissus is absolutely gorgeous. White flowers. Okay, so let me know what you think. Let me know how you're doing with lockdown, how you've inspired yourself, how you get up in the morning and get yourself fresh and happy after your coffee. For me, I need a spritz of a nice juice like that, a green juice, just to keep me happy fresh and reinvigorated because sometimes it's hard especially if you're having online meetings like i'm having you need a good spritz to take you through okay lovely so i'm going to say goodbye now i'm going to keep this short i'm going to be back every week and the next one will be number five and as i say we will be looking at some beautiful roses gorgeous roses my garden is just about to take off um, my roses will be coming in April, but I'm going to test some beautiful roses for you. Also, a Spanish perfume that I discovered, Aquas de Frescos Rosa Blancas, which is amazing and absolutely wonderful. And again, under 50 euro. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying the videos. Bye. Bye. So, once again, I have to record this live because I'm not sure if my devices are recording. So, hope you'll bear with me as I...